uh, using a, t a 2D rendering to uh, make a, a 3D environment. Uh, now this is the, the new game using OpenGL. As you can see, uh, we can do uh, so much more with um, the, the, the lighting, uh, the textures, and everything else. Um, the camera movement, it was very easy to go in and, uh, and uh, you know, move the camera in different directions. It has some really cool effects that way. Um, I don't know if you can see down in the bottom left-hand corner, it shows the frames per second. And in general, it's about 25 to 30 frames per second. Uh, and then when the real uh, physics are, are done, when the pins are bouncing around, it gets down to about, about 20 frames per second, but still looks really, really good. Um, one other thing we also added, uh, I don't know if you can show it as well, is, is the accelerometer support too. Uh, you, can, you can actually tip it, uh, tilt it to the side, add some spin, and it kind of adds a lot more to the game. Nice like job there, by the way. Nice. So as I said, uh, you know, the first version that we created was a, was a 2D version. Uh, we used 3D drawing to uh, uh, to create this uh, 3D look. Um, it, it, that's actually an image of the way the game used to look. So you can really see the ball doesn't really look totally brown. Uh, there's not the reflections. There's there's a lot that can be done with the game. These are actually images of, of the game of the, uh, the OpenGL version, and you can you can see how it's uh, progresses from the left to the right. Uh, it's now a much more immersive 3D environment. They have the reflections. Um, probably the biggest thing you can see from the left to the right is, is we've added uh, shading to the pins as well and, and a lot more textures to uh, the lanes. One thing that we found out on the next slide too is, is the, uh, the lighting. It, you know, it, it takes a, a, a lot of, um, it slows down the frame rate quite a, bit, quite, quite a bit, but the pins look so much better with the lighting. So really right now the only thing that we're using for lighting is the pins. We turn the lighting on, draw the pins, and we turn it off again. Everything else that's static, uh, like the gutters and everything else, we, we create that lighting effect uh, right in the images themselves. And it makes the game run a lot faster and look good. Uh, one other thing I should note too, now we have the full screen as well, where the old version we actually had the, uh, the score right on the screen uh, as part of our optimization, so we didn't have to draw quite as much. Uh, performance stats, like I said, it's running about uh, 30 frames per second, gets down to about 20 or so. Uh, we draw 3,216 triangles using 3,316 vertices right now and uh, 50 objects. Uh, tips that we, that we have that, that we found uh, and things that we kind of, we've learned, um, it started at 10 frames per second. Just like anything else, you end up having to do a lot of optimization. Um, the big thing is probably, like you were saying before, you know, you, you really, uh, you know, in the bowling game, we have 10 pins. They all look identical. There's no reason to draw, you know, every single pin each time. Uh, and that saved a lot of uh, increased the, the performance by quite a bit. Um, also, the lighting, I mentioned that as well. Right now, we actually just use the lighting for the pins. Anything else that's static, we, we, we create that lighting, the, the effect right inside the, the images themselves. We did find that they're uh, turning off and on some of the other open uh, GL features, like the blending, uh, as you notice when the ball is going down, we show the reflection on the floor of the, of the ball rolling, the pins and everything. Uh, it actually didn't uh, take that much of a hit on performance. Um, and, and the one big thing, thing as well as uh, mixing, as you had mentioned before as well, the, the 2D and the open GL really was a big performance hit. And in that case, our solution was uh, we created the image, I uh, performed a 2D drawing on that uh, on the 3D image, and then uh, uh, put the yeah, text right on the rectangle. And that's it. Right, thanks, Milwaukee. Right.